Hello, every day. Teacher. Hello, Linda. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Okay, good. I can't. Yeah. I can't complain. Yeah. It was a good day. <laughs> okay, that's good. Hello, Beatriz. Hi, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, very good. Just fine. Ready for for your Christmas celebration? Yes. Yes. Okay. I am happy for that. <laughs> Why? My family came in uh, Salvador. Ah, okay, good. And it's my last Christmas here with my family. Here in El Salvador? Yes. Then you are going to the United States? Yes. Ah, okay. When are, soon. when are you going? I don't know. I know date, but soon. But in, in, uh, in January? Mm, I don't know. Not, not sure. I waiting my my entry entrevista. Interview the interview. Interview the resident the the green card. Uh -huh, yes, but that's going to be in the in the American embassy. Yes, mm -hmm. but yeah. but it closed right now for yes. coronavirus. coronavirus. Oh, really? The coronavirus. Yeah. And when will they open? I don't know. Okay. I, I, I thought they were they were working. Yeah. At the, at the American Embassy, but, but they are they are not. Mm, sí, pero muy lento. Ah, okay. So they are but slowly. Okay. Yes, slowly. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, that sounds sounds like you have to wait but uh less than a year maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's right. Good. And you, Brenda, what are your plans for next year? Uh, uh, no sé encontrar un encontrar un work. Find a job. Uh -huh. Finding work. Eh, primero Dios. Find a job. Find a job. Uh, okay. What kind of job? What? What kind of job? What job? Uh, where? Pues, where? Sí, aparte de where, uh, estudio. No, where? ¿A dónde le gustaría? Where would you like? To ah, ¿dónde me gustaría? Ah, uh, con mi familia, la persona. Excuse me? ¿Dónde me gustaría el trabajo? Me estoy preguntando, perdón. Uh -huh. uh, pues ahorita, mm, todo lo que me salgo. Ya sea aquí en Metapán o Yu Santa Ana. Okay. Ahorita, cualquier lugar. Any no job. Uh -huh. okay, uh, si no es de mi carrera de teacher, uh, bienvenido a atracciones. Ok, good. Yeah, but in the, in the schools there will be more options probably. Okay. Sí, you, are, yeah. you are in the... Uh, kinder, uh, kinder teacher, kindergarten teacher? Uh, sí, yo, mi especialidad es educación popularia. Uh -huh. okay. Pero puedo dar otro grado. Yes, I know. Yes. No problem. Okay. Sí. Well, sí, hopefully. Y, sí, también mis otros planes para el uh, próximo día es estudiar otra carrera. Okay, good. Estudiar y trabajar. What, what career? Eh, ahora en finanzas voy a cambiar de rama. Como okay. ya de maestro, es bien difícil encontrar trabajo. Eh, no, pero es ver... good because if you study, si usted estudia otra carrera, después le puede servir para casa de la universidad. Also. Sí. 
Entonces ya, bien, ya tiene la, la pedagogía. Uh -huh. La didáctica. Yes. Sí. It's okay, no problem. It's always good. You know, to be a, a teaching is a is a good option. It's a good option. And if you have a yeah. second a second option, it's, it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y seguir con el inglés. Yo he pensado que tres carreras son importantes: business administration, laws, and teaching. Mm -hmm. Con esas tres carreras, uno mm -hmm. se puede vender muy bien. Leyes, derecho. Mm -hmm. Then we have a administración o uh -huh. and then uh, and Entonces, teaching lo que quiero ahora es una carrera no tanto que me use sino que sienta que me va a abrir oportunidades de trabajo yes porque That's me encanta idea. dar clases eso se sí okay. me encanta all right well hopefully yes. you will get it okay. okay good hello Robert how are you Robert hi teacher fine thank you you all right good Here talking about okay. plans. What are your plans for next year? Um, for me, it is important learn English mm -hmm. uh, be, because I uh, travel twice a year to see my family. Ah, okay. But it's And, just uh, like a vacation. Yeah. Ah, okay. And I need I need to speak English and. The tourists speaking an, a, another language is very useful in life. Mm -hmm. And uh, and where do, where does your family live in the United States? Uh, my brother, uh, well, my parents li live in Miami, and my brother also live in Miami. Oh, okay, Miami. Yeah, uh, and. Una ciudad que se llama Plantation. What's the name? Plantation. Oh, Plantation. In Miami. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. So they are near the beach. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. And you go two times a year? Um, or one time? Uh, one time. One time a year. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, good. Thank you. And you, it is. What are your plans for next year? I need to speak English. And, <laughs> okay. Good. I know. I know. I know how to plan because the COVID <laughs> no is possible. Hmm. <laughs> yes, proyectarse a futuro. Es muy difícil. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I think that we all have bad experiences, good and bad, right? Good and bad experiences with the COVID-19 because probably you had, I had many plans for this year too, personally, other plans, but all my plans for this year came down. Okay, and then uh, I had. Uh, for next year, you know, is uh, like you say it is. Uh, I have to think. You have to think, right? You have to think a lot about what, what is the next step, and then you, you have to be careful. And at least in Salvador, I don't see a projection that I, that, you know, something that you can see. Ah, next year is going to be wonderful. No, it's it's, it's not very clear yet, right? In El Salvador, right? But in other in other countries, I think it's the same. But I don't know exactly how. But here, it's a little bit difficult. Okay? It seems to be difficult. Well, Brenda knows, you know, it's difficult to find a job in this moment. Okay, in other moments, probably, it's always difficult. But now, I think it's a little more difficult. A little more difficult. Yes, Robert. Um. I went to for a week and to the COVID test, and mm -hmm. I, I didn't have much problem. But mm -hmm. I in my um, in, in my in, in, in the traveling with children is very difficult to travel. Yes. Even to Guatemala, if you want to go to Guatemala, it's difficult. 
because all, they... all, all, all work. I think all work because in New York, um, for the moment, uh, close the 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 Manhattan city, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I think all work because in in Alemania close. Germany. <laughs> yes, yes. So the whole, the whole country, right? So then, yes, it's it's closed, and then, uh, yeah, that's what I'm telling you. I think is uh, the if you see the future in this moment, we have to be very careful, right? We just have to be uh, probably planning some things, think about what you are going to do, and yeah, but it's very bit, very careful. For, for me, it's very difficult because my husband works in the ship. Mm -hmm. Close mm -hmm. and clo uh, close, close the ship. No, the cruise, no, they are, no, they are not working. Uh -huh, the, the cruise is not working either. Yeah, so, yeah, you see, it's, it's, it's difficult, it's difficult to, to see in this moment, right? But little by little, then we have to we have to find other things to do, right? To take advantage. You no, know, for example, look, Brenda is going to study in her career. Uh, for example, uh, 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 Robert is going to travel. Ah, he's, and then there are different things, different plans. Uh, learn English, for example, for Robert is important. Uh, oh. For Brenda too. Mm -hmm. yeah. in, in January, I come back to El Salvador. Next month. Next month. Yes. Okay. Okay, but but uh, but you don't have a job here. I not have, um, como lo digo? Sí y no. Ok, yes. O sea, sí, no. porque tenemos una empresa familiar. Ah, sí, okay. porque you tenemos una empresa familiar. Fam family business. You have a family y, business. Y, yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, ok. Ya yeah, en, en El Salvador. All right. So then uh, mm -hmm. they, you can produce a little bit more. Pero uh, igual tenemos otras, otras cuestiones que sí están como paralizadas y. Mm -hmm. y, y Y es bien difícil porque yo lo, eh, era, bueno, estudié administración de empresas y por eso quizás soy un poco que planeo y todo eso. Y, y esto de, de esta cosa me, me bajó. Uh -huh. <ríe> porque, yes. o sea, uno se proyecta y los proyectos no han salido como se esperaban like, en este año. As you were planning. Uh -huh. as pero, planning. Yes. pero tengo que volver a... A planear. <laughs> exactly. Okay, that's the idea. Okay, the idea is levantarse, right? Not to. Okay, little by little. Okay. Yeah. Poco a poco, pero seguros, right? That something else is going to happen. Okay, thank you, Iris. Um, Iris, Iris, Iris is holding cold. <laughs> uh huh? Yes, Iris? it's very cold. It's very cold. Uh, okay. Very, okay. <laughs> in New York, yeah, it's very cold yeah. in these days. Uh, but Both for, in the year, yeah. fortunately, fortunately, her family is with her, right? She's with her family. She's not alone. That's good. Okay. Uh, Floor, how are you, Floor? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you today? Um, good, teacher. All right. Relax. Relaxing. Okay. What are your plans for next year, Laura? Yes. Um, I think I eat a lot of food. <laughs> <laughs> I read the, in the Christmas and I don't know. Okay, good. So I you, spend time with my family. Yeah, that's good. I spend time with the family and, and for work, let's say in 2021, uh, what are the plans? Business, change, change your job, or do something different? I don't know, I think, I like my work. Okay. So you are not planning to change? No, okay. no. So you're gonna keep on working. I, I same in the. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Okay, Carmina. Hello, Carmina. How are you?
Hello, Carmina. Hello. How are you, Carmina? I'm fine. Fine. Okay, good. Any any plans for next year? Um, um no. No. Okay. That's very very straight, right? No, no plans. Okay, good. Well, excellent. You know, I think, uh, well, I will try to continue teaching and see if I can uh, start another business with the family, but I don't know yet. You know, we have to, to think about it. We were, last year and for this year, we were planning to open a, a cafeteria, right? In some schools, but it was not possible because they closed the schools. And then, uh, then this is a, a project that is, is there, but I have to wait, I don't know how long, right? For It's gonna be next year or in the future. So in the moment, you know, we have to think about other, other activities. Okay, people, let's see the last uh, thing we have to do. Is the... Yesterday we finished with the changing family. Today we can have a, we're gonna review the, I think this exam is very short and easy. Uh, the strategy that I recommend to, for this exam is first, Look at the first look at the questions Catherine has four, seven, nine. Nowadays, Mark is living at home with friends, with his wife. Sharon usually goes to the gym on Thursdays, twice a week, three times a week. Some of the men's younger, young sin younger brothers and sisters out in school have one child are working abroad then uh, familiarized familiarized with the with the questions and then after open the file and only listen okay only listen Solo escuchar nada más, right? Tell me about your family, Catherine. How many brothers and sisters do you have? Well, I have four sisters. Annette, Sarah, Jill, and Liza. Wow, that's great. And do you have any brothers? Yes, I have three brothers. Ed, Mark and Sam, and we all eat dinner together each night, all my brothers and sisters and my parents. How fun! It's like having a party every night. Yeah, I guess it is. Two. Hi, Mark. Nice to see you again. Hey, where are you working now? I'm working full-time for a newspaper. I'm a photographer there. Wow, that's interesting. Are you still living at home? No, I'm not. I'm living in an apartment with Jim. He's an old friend from school. So you're not married? No, not right now, but I am getting married this summer. Congratulations. Thanks. Three. How often do you exercise, Sharon? Well, I go jogging about twice a week. Oh, really? And do you ever go to the gym? Yes, I usually go on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Wow. How long do you spend there? Mm, around two or three hours each time I go there. Well, you're not a couch potato. That's for sure. Four. Listen to this, Kylie. It says here, in Australia, most married couples have children. Oh, that's true. My parents have two kids, my sister and me. In my country, we have really big families. 
There are 12 people in my family. That's amazing. And are they all living at home? Well, some of my younger brothers and sisters are still in school and living at home with my parents. A few of us older ones are married with children. Are you all living in the same town? No. My two older brothers are single and working abroad, but the others live near our parents in the same town. Okay. So then this is the, the you listen and after that uh, you go back. You can answer what you remember. Se contesta lo que uno recuerda, right? And then after the submit, then you Listen Tell me about your family, Catherine. Time. How many brothers and sisters do you have? If you listen a second time, and then you double check. It's a, uh, se verifica la respuesta que uno da, right? So that's a, a strategy, right? That, that you can use to, to, to answer this, this test. Uh, do you have any questions about vocabulary from from this exercise, Catherine has well numbers, brothers and sisters. Nowadays, Mark is living at home with a friend or with his wife. Sharon usually goes to the gym on Thursday, twice a week, three times a week. No? And some of the men's younger brothers, uh, right? younger brothers and sisters, are in school, have one child, or are working abroad. No problem? Okay, then you have the next section, which is complete conversations. And then this is important, right? Read instructions. Complete the sentences with do, does, or would. Do, does, or would. Then here, do you like to see movies? Uh, do you like to see a movie tonight? Does you like to see a movie tonight or would you? Okay. Remember that the difference between do you like and would you like to see a movie tonight is do is less formal. Okay. It's very informal and would is a polite and educated manner to ask a question would you like to would you like to go out tonight would you like to have dinner uh, with me tonight uh, would you like to see a movie tonight would you like to study english tonight uh, would you like to go to the beach uh, on the weekend Okay, would you, would you, would you, would you is formal, educated, educado, right? Polite, cortes, polite way to say something. Then uh, this one, do you like horror movies? Not, not really. Okay, if you see here, for example, if you say do, do you like horror movies? It's more general, right? Instead of saying would you. Would you like horror movies? Probably, would you like to see a horror movie? But then you say, do you, it's more general. Do you like horror movies? Do you like uh, bananas? Do you like uh, action movies? Do you like sports cars? Uh, do you like uh, cold weather? Do you like the hot, hot weather? Okay, what what you really like? then? Do is more general. Then you have to see the context of the question. What kind of music? Here, remember that you have to identify. You are talking about 
Ricardo. Okay, your friend Ricardo. Okay, it's not about you. It's about your friend. Okay, you have to choose one of these. Okay, for the third person. Okay, identify who you are talking about. In this case, is Ricardo. Is he. Okay, you're talking about he. Okay, him, Ricardo. The next one, complete the following conversation, use the present continuous of the verbs. Present continuous of the verbs. What is the present continuous, uh, Beatriz? When you say ENG. Exactly, right? When you say studying, uh, playing, uh, listening, reading, working, going, staying, coming, okay? And in you, uh -huh, writing, waiting, and you, um, and you add the verb to be. How is your sister? Okay, then you say, how is your sister? The second one, be careful. No es la respuesta, right? It's a question, look. How is your sister? Two questions about the sister. Okay, then you don't have you don't have to say she she is right. It has to be in a question form. Okay, remember that the question is: Are you studying? Is he studying? Is she? Are we? Are they studying? Is she? Uh huh. Exactly right. You're gonna use she. Then no, she isn't. It's a continuation. This is the answer. Okay, no, she isn't, and then here you are going to have a, an affirmative sentence. Okay, no, she isn't. Okay, she isn't studying. Okay, so she's working. And then the que as a cashier at a grocery store. Uh, is that David? You know, that, that guy over there. Is that David over there? Then Question form. Okay, the same case like in this one. Okay, who are you waiting for? Who is he? Who is she? Who are they? Who are we? Okay. And then his girlfriend, Maggie. Okay, then this is an affirmative sentence with the ing. And then remember that in all of them, you have to use the verb to be. Okay, is, yes, she is, who is, she is. Okay. Questions in this moment about the uh, person continuous. Okay, then let's see the next one. Choose the correct word. Jay does what? Every morning before breakfast. Which one would you choose here? Yoga, football, jogging. Yes, Robert. Yoga. 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 Yes, because you know he does yoga. The other one, he plays football. No, he does football, right? Uh, you say he does mostly yoga. He plays football and he goes jogging. El sale a total. He goes jogging. Then the other one is how often do you go? Uh -huh, exactly right. After go, you have go swimming. You never said do swimming. How often do you do swimming? Now, how often do you go swimming? How often do you play swimming? Okay. 
and I sometimes play inline skating, aerobics, or baseball. Baseball. I uh have -huh, play. Playing in line now. Playing in line now. Play aerobics now. This is do. And then you always play baseball. Okay? So this exercise is for, let's say, uh, vocabulary and comprehension, right? It's a uh, compression use of vocabulary. Okay, how to use it correctly. Okay. And the last part is a reading. We can practice the reading only just to, for you to check. Ya terminaron todos la plataforma? Not yet. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ya tienen su diploma? Yes. Okay, yes. very good. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, Richard, te vamos a traer el vino y la champaña to celebrate. <laughs> Audrey Tauto. Okay, let's see. Audrey Tauto is a young French actress and she has fans around the world. Here are some interesting things about Audrey's life and career. Okay, then, oops. Okay, Robert, please read these two parts. How's it? <clears throat> Desde donde? 1978 up to here. Desde el 78 hasta aquí. Ahorita, teacher. Ah, no, ahorita. Okay, okay. Okay, no problem, no problem. Creí que se le había ido el audio. Me está fallando un poco, pero ahorita lo estoy solucionando. Ok. Eh, 978. 1978. Eh, Ordering this board is Bed Belmont, France. Uh, 1980s? 1980s and 1990s. 1990s. Um, Audrey Art in play, especially comedies, is high school. After that, she, go, she goes to acting school. She wins the prize, the prize. Best, the prize best newcomer. For her acting on French TV. Okay. 1999. 1999. Thank you. Okay. okay, Floor. Read an action about 2000 to 2002. Okay, teacher. 2000 and 2002. Audrey acts in many movies, including. Boyus, Boye, Bujo, Bujel. Eh. That's right. 200. 2000. Bujo, Boyel. Okay. 2000. Then she plays a young woman calling Amelie in a movie of the same name, Amelie, 2001. Okay, okay. Eating. French, but okay. It's in French, but the film is a big international hit. How it becomes popular in many countries, including the United States. Also, in a film calling God is Great, I am not. 2002. 2002. Okay, very good. Brenda. Two 
to thousand three. Aureli has a B. She she utter in the Spanish uh, apartment in the he love me he love me no she has no actress in directress priori this the, is the first time she speak English and movie. Okay, very good. You know, this is uh, she also acts in very pretty things very pretty things and uh, you know she was a french french actress and then uh but this was a, the first time in this movie that she spoke in english right so most of the time she was speaking probably only french do you have any questions about vocabulary from here no Okay, then uh, we go back here, and they say in high school, Audrey taught to act what in plays on television or in movies when she was in high school. Television. Three on television, and many Americans like the movie. Teacher, uh -huh. first in play. La primera es in uh -huh. play. What is a play? Uh -huh. Exactly. Oh. What is play and what is okay. a play? In play son yeah. eh, obras teatrales, right? Sí. Exactly. Because, and yes. she acts in plays. Here it is. Audrey acts in plays. Especially comedies in high school. Then... Uh, many Americans like the movie. What movie did Americans like? Yes, Amelie. Uh, Amelie is here. There is a young woman called uh, em 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 Emily in a movie. Of the same name, Emily same. is in French, okay. but the film is an international hit. Okay, let's see. Audrey acts in three movies. What are the three movies? In what year? Two thousand. Two thousand. Two thousand three. And in her movies, Audrey usually speaks. Usually. English, Spanish, or French. 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 Okay. So this is the reading comprehension, right? That if you, uh, in this case, you see that there are no. No mistakes, right? So we have in place Emily, 2003, and French. Do you know this actress? Alguien ha visto esta actriz alguna vez? No, teacher. No. Because I haven't. Ni las películas me suenan. It's new for me. Not even the face, ni la cara, right? It's, it's conocido. No. Okay. All right, people. So that's the... That's the end of the course. That's the end of the course. Now I will... I will give you some um, some extra vocabulary that it will be useful in the next level. 
we are going to use it in the next level. Then uh, practice it, practice it, and practice it. Just let me, we can check it in this moment. Yes, this is it. This, this is like they say, like in the como en los video games, right? This is an uh, un extra bonus. Okay. Uh, okay, you got it, right? Okay, can you see it? Okay, one here, okay. Yes, I got it here. Okay, if you see, this is vocabulary uh, that you will use to describe people. Okay, for example, uh, los adjetivos son de los más, de los vocabularios más extensos en cualquier idioma, right? Because we need them to, to, to describe actions, uh, objects, well, actions son adverbios, but uh, we need to describe um, objects, uh, for example, to describe a, a person, the personality, physically, okay, so the appearance. For example, if you see the first one, it says, look at the pictures carefully, and then you say, choose and circle the right expressions in bold. There are many options, right? But in this moment, it's not important the, the option. What is important is that you uh, memorize all this vocabulary, you can use it later. So name is Sharon, age 16, height 150 centimeters. So she's very short, right? Uno uh, cincuenta for para dieciséis años, yes, right? It's short. Weight 44 kilograms. Okay, 44 kilograms is like 110, maybe 107 pounds. And below says Sharon is a high school student and not teacher because she's only 16, right? She's young, only 16. She is short, 150 centimeters. And she's uh, slim, como la ven, rellenita o delgada? Look at the cachetitos. Look at the cheeks. Se ve cachetoncita, right? Yes. Entonces diríamos un poquito así como plum, como rellenita, right? Plum. Un okay, not too. Uh, she has got short brown and hair, yes? Short brown hair. And hazel and brown. Hazel is como el café claro, right? But then that would be hazel eyes. Okay, yes, hazel eyes. And brown is como marrón, más oscuritos. Okay, so you can see there, for example, the vocabulary that you can choose. You look at the picture and then you see which is the, the adjective that is more uh, convenient to use, right? For example, um, Beatrice, can you read the, do you have the document? Yes? What? Do you have the, the document? Yes. Okay, can you read the second one about William? 
name Williams, age 24, height. weight, height, 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 185 centimeters, centimeters, weight, 78 kilo. kilograms. Kilograms. Kilogram. Mm -hmm. Okay, now read the description. William is a handsome, beautiful boy. He is a young, old. He is a short. Yeah, read it, no problem, don't worry. Tall and he is a fat of medium weight. He's a got short long hair black hair and green black eyes. Okay, good. Okay, and then now what you have to do is to choose what the those options, right? Is more convenient. William is mm -hmm. a handsome boy, oh, right? Handsome. He is John. John. He is tall. Tall. And he is Medium weight. Medium weight. Uh -huh. Medium weight. He has got. Long. Para, uh -huh. para, para él es long. Black mm -hmm. or fair? Fair is como rubio, right? Black. Black, black hair. hair. And? And black, black eyes. eyes. Black eyes. That's correct. Okay. Uh -huh. You see, then you are a. And after that, you can read, okay, William is a handsome boy, he is young, he is tall, and he is of medium weight. He has got a long black hair and black eyes. And then you can look at the picture of a person, and then you can say, for example, describe a person, okay? My father is a handsome man, he is old, uh, he is short or tall, he is short, he is a medium weight, and he has a short black hair, no, short gray hair. Gray is como canoso, right? Cano. Gray hair mm -hmm. and brown eyes. And then you can describe a person. Okay? So then this is, these are all the steps. In esa uh, estructura, right, you can describe general, general information. A general information okay about a person uh, Brenda can you read the next one about Helen oh. uh, Helen mm -hmm. mm. she's um, tall uh, uh, no, uh, the information says name Helen, H. Uh, 22. Uh, ah, como soy yo. ¿Cómo no, no, Helen, lea la información que tiene de Helen ahí en el documento. Ah, This one. Uh, ok, okay. permita. Ok, ok. Está viendo solo. Helen. Ahorita. Sharon. Um, ah. Aquí está. Ya, yeah. Helen. Mm -hmm. eh, she is. Um, Cho. Eh, she. She is uh, 22 or years old. Uh, uh -huh, or, uh, no sé cómo se dice, pesa. Height. Uh, uh -huh. Height. 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 Es la, la, uh, es la, la estatura. Height. Okay. 160. Height. Height. Uh, 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 Mm, se dice 160 o 
weight. 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 Uh, 40, 44 uh, kilograms. She is uh, white. Su hair is. No, ahora uh, lea, lea el párrafo que está abajo. Helen is, así como está escrito uh, ahí. Helen oh, is. Okay. Uh -huh. Helen is young. Young. Uh, oh, Solamente young. Va a escoger uno de los dos. Uh -huh. uh, Helen is young and beautiful. Ok. She is short. Uh -huh. uh, she is slim. Yes. She has go style. Ha. Like curly, more or less, right? Oh, okay, curly. Uh, hair I uh, green, green hair. Green eyes. Green hair. Uh huh. And she work a uh, hat. A hat. She's wearing a hat. That's correct. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Thank you. Uh, in the next one, Flor, can you read the one about Roger? <clears throat> okay, teacher. About who? <clears throat> uh, Roger. Roger. Yes. Roger is a young and old man. He doesn't work. He's a retired and worker. She is choose, choose, short. Only, choose only one. Okay. okay. Roger is okay. young or old. Okay. One of them. Okay. Okay. Roger is a, an old man. He doesn't work. He is retired. Okay. He's of medium height, height and height. he's height, height, yes. and he's plump. Plump. He has got a long brown hair and black eyes. Eyes, black eyes, Hi. okay? Yeah, but only the eyes, short, short hair, okay? Da igual que mi, mire, mero, mero calvo, right? <laughs> then we have, <laughs> okay, so then we say he has short brown hair. Okay, good, thank you. Robert, read the one about uh, Claire. 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 Um. Claire, uh, she is 29 years old. Uh, measure one murder 18 centimeter. Um, Clara e is a fortune at a circus. Yes. She is young. Uh, she is tall and she is uh, slim. Mm -hmm. Uh, she she has go she she has go long, uh, curly brown hair and blue green eyes and blue huh? yes blue eyes mm -hmm. he has blue, blue eyes. eyes yes okay good and the last one the last but not least it is read about James. Okay, okay, go. Nay, Jen. Okay. Nay, 67 years old. Height of 187 centimeter. Um, wait, wait, mm -hmm. 
17 kilograms. 17 kilos. Jen, kil, Jens is mu, mus, musician. Musician in a rock group. Group. He is tall and he is sleep. Mm -hmm. He has got long strong he wearing glasses he's old he's old okay very good okay so then uh you will find uh three six well you can see in the on the second page and rojo you will find the answer the correct answers okay but you can the idea is to <clears throat> memorize okay memorize that vocabulary uh, you will use it in the next uh, in the next level. Also, practice the the verbs in past tense. Okay, in the next level, you will need verbs in past tense. This vocabulary, adjectives, uh, verbs in past tense. Uh, let me see. Si todavía está abierto el chat mañana, creo que les puedo mandar una lista de verbos. Uh, so that you can practice it, para que la practiquen, right? And then, uh, this, because as I told you yesterday, como les dije, ya van a ser dos o tres semanas eh, sin clase, entonces no es muy conveniente, right? Because eh, se nos olvida, eh, nos, va, nos vamos de fiesta. Ya Flor ya tiene un pie en la, en la puerta ahorita, ya va para la fiesta. No, Flor, no es eso. Ya se fue, ya ve. Ya la perdimos, Flor. Ok. Beatriz, how about you? Ready for the party? Mm, yes. Ok. Yes. Ok, ready to dance. Ok, and then, uh, yes, at least try to study at least one hour or 30 minutes a day. Si tienen el tiempo de una hora, estudien por lo menos una hora diaria. Ok. Si no, pues por lo menos, por lo menos, por lo menos 30 minutos. De lectura eh, en YouTube, encuentren en audiobooks, eh, audiolibros en inglés, pero sencillos, cortos, de 10, 15 minutos, right? So that you can also practice. Con 30 a 45 minutos diarios que estén haciendo diferentes lecturas, escritura, eh, checking vocabulary, listening, ok, así, pero. Eso es intencionalmente, así como la intención de hacerlo. Ahora, el resto del día pueden pasar viendo música en inglés todo el día. Eh, cuando vean películas, traten de poner los subtítulos, eh, los, ¿qué se llaman? Los captions en inglés. Okay? In that way you will practice more. Okay, 40 minutos, 40, 45 minutos con intención de estudiar y el resto, pues, por diversión. You can do it, no problem. Ok, people, so... Thank you very much for your attention okay. in these 16 Thank classes. Thank you, teacher. Have a Merry okay. Christmas, Happy New Year. May God bless you forever in one day extra, okay? Yes, Robert, okay. tell me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, God bless you, Thank you for all, teacher. Muchas gracias por todo lo que nos enseña. A la orden, a la orden. Gracias, teacher. Thank you, Robert. Okay. Ahí estamos. Cualquier cosa, ahí estamos a la orden, okay? Okay. Okay, God bless you. Okay, Thank that's you. it too. Bye-bye. Happy New Year. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye.